Hi guys, today I wanted to talk about teamwork within the context of real life and in the virtual. I believe teamwork is essential in almost every single aspect of life. As you grow up or you're often put in a situation where you have to work with individuals you might strongly dislike or you find difficult to work with. This can be from the classroom to work, even family situations or going out with friends. Also, you can even find it within multiplayer games. The rules are still the same and if you want to have a good game and achieve something big, I suggest the following. The first step, get to know each member and figure out the strengths and weaknesses of each member. This is important because you'll have to work with them under a limited amount of time so there will be lots of stress and strain on each member and you will want to get the best out of each person. So to get the best results, find out the strengths and weaknesses. The second step is obviously trying to figure out how to put everyone together to get the best results. After you found the strengths and weaknesses, give each member a specific allocated task. Make sure to follow up so each member knows what they're doing and no subjects are overlapping and no confusion is caused. If there are problems, work it out together and fix it. If it is a social issue, however, try to convince the members to resolve it professionally and diplomatically. Now there's a few about members that I think are very important. The first one is a leader or the commander. Each team needs a leader or commander to keep the team from losing direction and to give specific orders. If someone goes out of line, you have to deal with them respectfully and as an equal. Unless they're purposely trying to piss you off or lead members astray, then you have to put them in their place. These are usually people with leadership skills, wisdom, the large amount of respect from the majority of the group, or the calm collective and they have a clear direction. Then there's a follow-up or backup leader or assistant who follows up on orders and makes sure everything is carried out accordingly without this person or member slacking off. The leader could be having a day off, forget things, or be having a bad day and this is when the follow-up member should step in. There's not always such a member. Usually a leader should have these kind of skills but if the leader lacks the skills and there is a backup it is essential they have a good relationship with the leader. If they are part of the team and do their duties, they are irreplaceable and known to be reliable, organized, conscious of problems, and brave enough to bring them up. Then there's a nurse or the support. This individual is usually the one who is very observant of the psychological state of all the other members and can help each member with their state of mind by guiding them or providing them help or support. When a team is under a lot of stress or strain, this person usually stays in the back and looks after the hurt, the wounded, or the fearful members. And they're also capable of seeing supply problems or kit problems, etc, etc, etc. They're usually very observant, sympathetic, caring, and mindful. At work, this person can bring problems to light for the leader or for the assistant, and they can deal with it appropriately. In a game, I usually see them as the medic or the engineer. Then there are all the other members who put their weight forward as vanguard, brave, hardworking individuals or steady support workers or probably a few lazy members. Each have their own qualities and talents. Working as a team, you have to learn more and more of what each individual person can do. And you have to bring them together to make the perfect mix to get the best results for everybody. Sometimes you might have two leaders or have none at all. If you have two leaders, it might cause problems as team members might be split and the work is done half-heartedly. I suggest have them talk it out, figure out which responsibilities they have, and each have their fair share of responsibilities. If you have none, members might have no direction at all. This is very dangerous. There must always be someone who must put everybody's efforts together and get others working. If you're hearing this, this should be you. Now I see there are two different team scenarios. The first one, you will have to work with a team of members only once and you will probably never ever see them again. Or you have to work with a team of members for a very long time and you will have to either see them or socialize with them. Each will require the previously mentioned, but if it's the first scenario, remind the members if there is a social problem, they should work together because the social issue should be at the back of their minds 
because they will never have to ever see each other again. This will probably make them work a little harder. If it's a second scenario, social issues might be a bigger problem. And the importance of the follower is even more essential. It might be more difficult to keep the team in good spirits and members might change roles over the time. They should all be accommodated and members with little experience or a lot of experience will always learn how to deal with certain situations from working together. I always see it as being trapped on an island or figuring out how to survive. In a game, this might be similar but not as real as there is no actual physical meeting. However, to players who play all the time and the team is split or there might be a fight, this might have a huge effect on their social life. So I always encourage members or people who are part of a team to have a social life outside of that particular circle just in case this happens. Remember, each team member is important. They cannot work as individuals because there could be contradicting actions or information. A team is made of individuals and should be respected for who they are and what they are. To translate this into gameplay, this would mean something like, if you're a medic, please, please, please revive the people around you. That's your job. That's what you have to do. Put down those health packs, make sure everyone's alive, and that's your job. If you're an engineer, fix those vehicles or destroy them. Figure it out. So again, this translates in the real world as well as in the virtual world. I hope you guys like this. Please like, subscribe, share, and favorite. And please also, if you have any suggestions for any new topics, send them to me. Bye!